Hi, welcome to my Tunes. Today we're going to draw a hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. So grab your marker and follow along with me. Let's start with the nose. I'm going to draw a round nose because hiccup's got this beautiful round nose. And I'm just going to draw it very small because it's going to be a small picture. So the bottom of the eye. Now this time I'm going to keep the eye a square shape. And I'm going to do the same on this side as well. Then let's draw the pupil, the iris, the pupil. And then of course a little light reflection on both sides. And we'll just quickly fill the pupil in. Now we're going to draw the mouth. The mouth is quite close to the nose. And we're just going to make a little hook there. And on this side, we're going to draw the jawline. So Hiccup's got this long jaw. And then from there, we're going to draw an ear. Now on top, we're going to start drawing the hair. So I'm just going to draw some pieces of hair sticking out everywhere. There we go. And then on top, we're just going to draw the hair on top. There we go. Piece of hair sticking out. And it's going right around like this. And on this side, let's do the same thing. We'll just draw pickups here. So it's quite messy here. So don't worry too much about making it nice. So, and now from here, we're going to draw the neck. I'm going to draw a little line down. And on this side, we're going to draw another line down. And in the middle, we're just going to draw a little section out. Now, before we continue, on the side here, I want to draw a little buckle. buckle. A little buckle and then a belt extending back to the neck and then on this side we're going to start drawing the chest area so first I'm just going to draw the chest area going around like this and then I'm going to extend the buckle to that place and I'm just going to make maybe two little holes there as well now we can do the bottom of the collar and extend it back now I want to draw a shoulder. Now right here on the side, we're going to draw a little shoulder. I'm going to bring a line down in the middle and then you're going to extend it there. And we're just going to draw a little border as well there on this shoulder. And then maybe a few stitches connected to everything. Now we can complete the belt. There we go. Good. Now we can do the torso. So I'm going to bring a line down and I'm going to connect it there. Now on this side, let's do the arm first. And I'm going to draw a series of um, little buckles or dots there. We're going to draw the little arm. And now we're going to draw the forearm. Now first of all, we're going to draw sort of a, a tear shape. Now in the tear shape, we're going to divide it with two little lines. And then again a buckle here as well so we'll try to keep it quite simple not as complicated as the real pickup we'll just do our own little variant of it and I'm gonna draw a little thumb and then of course we're gonna just draw the hand back now let's do the torso let's finish up with it we're just gonna extend it right there to the arm and maybe two straps sticking out here as well great now we're going to continue with the body we're not going to draw the other side we're first going to make roughly two two circles then we're just going to make a short little line out for the tour for the belly and we're going to just extend these belts past the belly line and we're just going to draw a few circles there as well a few and then you're going to extend it like this now we're going to draw the legs so the first thing i'm going to do i'm just going to make a little mark here for the bottom of his pants and now from here we're going to draw the legs i'm going to start up here and i'm going to draw the back of the side and then we're going to go down and we're going to draw the leg up to the calf. On the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start here. I'm gonna draw the leg up to the calf 
and I'm gonna extend it back. There we go. Now up here, I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna bring a line down, just a textured line. Good, and then from here, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just bring a line down and like this. And on this side, we can do the same thing as well. There we go. Now I'm gonna draw maybe a strap sticking out and another strap. And I'm gonna extend the strap across the leg back. And then extend the strap across the leg as well. And here we'll do the same thing. We can draw the strap and we can draw another strap and we can just connect it back. Good. Now we can go back to the shoulder. I'm gonna draw a little mark there and I'm just gonna draw the shoulder. I'm gonna draw the, the top of the arm and then I'm gonna extend it right there to the forearm and I'm just gonna draw sort of this just on that side but from the other side from another angle a strap a strap and we're just gonna extend the straps back good i'll draw a little thumb one two maybe we'll just see three fingers sticking out and now we can go down to the boots and the legs so on this side there's a prosthetic leg for your cup good and on this side, you're gonna do sort of the same thing, but this is gonna turn into a boot. There we go. And we can make a few little knobs here as well. Right, now I want you to draw a little shape like this and then bring it back, connect it to the upper part. Connect it to the upper part. And let's divide it with two lines on both sides, good. Now, with this prosthetic leg, we're just going to draw a circle and um, you're going to have the circle like this. And on this side, you're going to draw, but you're going to stop there, you're going to draw a half. And there in the middle, you can maybe just draw another oval shape there. And then we're going to draw this foot area, this prosthetic foot, like this. And there we go. And there's Hiccup's prosthetic foot. And now from here, I'm just going to draw the boot. Now up here, like this, and connect it. And maybe there's a few straps that wraps around this boot and going down. There we go. Now you can look at my picture and you can try to match the colors. And I'm sure he got look, will look great. Thank you for drawing with me. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.